Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Default. So in the last episode, we took on some kind of puddle of water, we awakened the water crystal, and now we need uh, we need clues, we need to figure out what we need to do next. I believe next we need to work on the fire crystal. The, the festival of fire is dead, as far as we are aware of. Oh, Lady Vestal, the oceans herald your return to us. I take it for a sign the water crystal, too, is returned to its pure state. What joy! And the Vestal of Water, is she not with you as well? <laughs> Olivia Oblige, Vestal of Water, has given her life in the service of the crystals. No, but that can't. I had thought, certainly, certainly the clearing waters were her doing. Lost to us. Gone from this world. What is Florum to do now? It is by your efforts Florum is spared from the Blood Rose Legion's venom. I give you the thanks of all Florum's people. In the Vestal of Water's stead. The nation will not return to its chaste and proper ways overnight, I'm certain. But once a new Vestal is chosen, the people's hearts will unite behind her. <sighs> Might I ask where your travels take you next, Lady Vestal? I was told the Vestal of Fire is deceased. I must hurry to the Fire Crystal's side. I see. Then beyond the sea, to Eisenberg and the Temple of Fire. If you follow the waters west of here, ever west, you will find it. First, cross the Miasma Woods, then to the shore of the Inner Sea. I shall make a mark of it upon your map. The seas are only newly tamed, and the journey is long. I pray you will be safe. I was not expecting that cutscene. Oops. Alright, well, party chat. Are you alright, Anyas? If you're forcing yourself, you don't... Are you so worried about me? Do I make you so worried? Of course I'm worried about you. After what happened, how could I not be? I am fine. I have no luxury of stopping to mope. When we first met, you were praying to that pendant of yours, weren't you? This... The sage gave this to me when I was a child. He said something I didn't properly understand, then handed it to me. What did he say? Have the courage to think and act on your own. And the courage to disobey as well. And should you ever face a danger beyond all hope, this pendant will be your salvation. What do you think he meant? I had no idea, at the time. Even now, I cannot say that I understand any better. The sage is a mysterious man, but I trust his words are true. Now, that's enough talk. We ought to be moving. Indeed we should. That's Sage, he's quite the mystery man. Alright, we need to move west. West is apparently best for us. And we are going to Eisenberg. So that means I gotta go all the way back to the ship. That's going to be a fair trek. Okay, well in that case, let us go make sure we are properly equipped. Let's go stock one of our high potions. I don't think we can buy them back in Anchine. Looks like we have a decent number. We have a good number of Phoenix down, so I think we're good to go there. And we should flip back our classes as well, because we flipped them over because of the boss that I had to deal with. So we are going to change Anya's back over to a red mage to keep working on that. Plus he looks really damn good inside that outfit, let's just face it. And we're going we're gonna to quickly finish off the, what is it, I think the thief class. I think we only need another 70 or so before we're done. So we are going to go ahead and equip him with that. And give him a proper bow as well. 
I don't think there's anything worth grabbing beyond level 9. You do get something called Godspeed Strike, which does damage based on your speed and ignores your foe's defense stat, but it requires 2 BP in order to use it. I can't think of anything beyond that level that we're going to need, so we'll probably flip them over to the Ranger class afterwards. And I believe with the deal, we are almost done, just another 500 or so, and then we will receive something called Full Cover. And this allows us to completely protect one of our allies and take half damage from the attack. So that's definitely something that I want, and then beyond that, eh, I think we'll flip over to the Valkyrie class and start working on that. That is my current MO at the time being. Okay, I will meet you back at the Water Temple because there is a summon we can grab from there, and then beyond that, we will head up, we will head west. So I will see you in a bit. Alrighty, it has been a long time since I last saw this guy. This owl-looking man? So we need to make sure that we tank this attack, so let's see, I think we can do things with Agnes. Now, if I get rid of Shield Lore, can I switch it out for something else in the White Mage class? Eh, not really. I guess we'll just go for Magic Defense up plus 10%. I think she does learn something else that's better than that, but I don't quite remember. And I don't think anybody has a Bait Wind. Oh, we do have a bait wind. Okay, then we will get rid of that in exchange for we'll get rid of an angelic ward in exchange for a bait wind then. And I think everyone else can learn that too. So let's see. Let's go ahead and put that on. Where did I find that? I think it was a thief class. I don't right. Re I do not rightly remember. And I'm pretty sure I passed it. There we go. There's the bait wind. All right, good to go. So a bait wind, and you get a bait wind, and you get a bait wind, because now we have the extra support ability because we got the. Wind Crystal, not the Wind Crystal, the uh, Water Crystal up and going, so now we have extra slots that we can put things in, and it's amazing. And just for good measure, we will quickly heal up using some magic. So, Agnes, if you could do a quick heal on all of us, that'd be fantastic. And hopefully we can uh, survive this hit. Hello, man. Well met, brave souls. You bear the qualifications. I am the Anchorite of Wind, mouthpiece of Haverschnitzel. Withstand its assault, and its power shall be yours command. Now, have you the confidence to accept this furious might? Yes? No? Maybe? Yeah, I don't think so. If you Bring it! R really? Alright, gosh. Then, um, show me the strength to stand firm. Show me the power of the cards. What? Splendid. <laughs> what? Okay, apparently we have the power to summon the jet fighter to the field. That is amazing. Okay, I will meet you back in town because we need to go back to our ship. So I'm going to use this teleport stone that is here somewhere and I'm going to go laugh myself into a coma. Alrighty, we are back at our ship. It has been so long and I am amazed this thing is still here. Seriously, how has no one stolen this thing? Did do we have, like, the greatest car alarm system in the history of mankind? I'm not entirely sure, but in between uh, the speeding up and the going to in-between towns, ring a bell, learn Godspeed Strike. So unleash an attack that substitutes speed for physical attack and ignores physical defense. It's amazing. So, ring a bell, I don't really think uh, I need you to be a thief anymore, so we are going to flip you over to the ranger, because you're a lone wolf, you're sexy, and... Uh, I think you can just use a bow, that's perfectly fine. And I think, it, he doesn't have the best defense, but it, I think it's going to be helpful to level up the Ranger class. Simply because it's going to give us access to exploring weaknesses for things like Dragon, things for like Inorganic, and it could be helpful down the line. And let's see, let's go ahead and change his ability over from Sword Magic over to... Uh, what can I give him? Let us give him... Let's use the Thief so that we can try out Godspeed Strike. I don't think it's going to be fairly good because I think I don't think his speed is going to be amazing or anything like that, but it's worth a shot. We can use the uh, speed 10% up to uh, help us out here. And you don't need the Shield Lord anymore, so let's, uh, I don't know, let's give him self-healing. 
Oh fuck, oh, I will miss around with all the abilities later, but first, let's get back on our ship. Shall I cast off then? Please. See? That's exactly what I mean. I cannot take Rainbow seriously while he's wearing that mask. And we can now swim around the ocean. It's amazing. Oh, it's amazing. We can swim now, but we can't fly. I'm trying to fly, but we can't fly. It's it's sad. And I think we're going west. Dark mood for a nice day's sailing. Agnes, forgive me. For what? What happened to Olivia? I am partly to blame. You may have fought for the duchy, but you've nothing to do with the one who killed Olivia. But I do. That monster. The one they call the witch, Victoria. I knew of her. <clears throat> Just, who are you, Adia? Before, when that man attacked, Alternus, you knew him. Better than a simple soldier of the Sky Knights ought. I hadn't intended to hide who I am. But I should have told you sooner. My father is Grand Marshal of the Eternian Forces. Leader of the Council of Six. What? If the Council is in charge, and he leads the Council... <gasps> Your father's the head of the whole duchy! Then the order to assassinate the Vestal of Water came from your father? I don't know. I don't know. I can't blame you if you blame me for it, though. You don't... You... You intend to stand there and feign heartache and innocence both? Perhaps it was you who communicated Olivia's hiding place to the Duchy? That's not... I wouldn't! Perhaps you were a spy this whole time! Deceiving us even now! Anya, stop! We fought this far together. That means something. Don't doubt it. <gasps> Excuse me. I need rest. I ask that you leave me alone a while. <laughs> We're crossing into open water. Oh boy, what I would not give. For something to kill the tension right about now. Anything would do. Anything? Yeah, monsters! That, that, yes, that would work quite nicely. And... Okay. What are these? They're, they're called mad sharks, apparently. I'm also just realizing I don't have anything with examination on it. That's a shame. Okay, well, um, let's just go ahead and brave. Let's, uh, they're sharks, so odds are they're gonna be weak to electricity, so let's give that a try. Oh, I guess I'm gonna have you defend, ring a bell. Um, I guess you're, these guys are probably aquatic, but, uh, you know, we should, you know what we should totally do? We should totally use the Godspeed Strike. Just to at least see what it looks like. And let's see, let's just go for, I think, a hunting? And odds are they're probably aquatic, so let's go try that, and then. Idea, um, I think I'll just defend with her and we'll see where this takes us. I mean, look at that! Gotta go fast! Oh, wow! 1500 damage, that is impressive! And Aquatic Slang to 1200, that's not too shabby! And yes, they are weak to electricity, but, eh, 900 damage, that's sort of meh. I mean, it's not terrible or anything, but it's uh, not great either. All right, let's try some uh, let's try some thunderous on these guys. Let's see how much that does. And let's see, Adia. I guess we'll go for. Yeah, we'll just go for some regular attacks because I don't have anything on her right now. Terror Fang. Oh, she's dreaded. That is quite indeed a terrorist, terrific uh, attack right there. Man, Thunder is not really doing a whole lot. I mean. Is it because Agnes is a level 5, or a level 6 Raid Mage, or is it because they're really magically resistant? I should find out. And this is going to, this is actually hurting us quite a bit. Alright, Tiz, uh, if you could take care of this Mad Shark, that'd be fantastic. Ow. 
Well, we're alive. That's all that really matters. Oh boy, okay. Well, I should have done this beforehand and I completely forgot about it, but I really should have put uh, Miscellany on one of our characters here just so that we can examine things. And I think I'll do it on Anya's because she's not really doing a whole lot right now. And I will have to go mess around with these abilities a little bit later on. Meantime, we'll just use Anya's and we'll have her heal us up with a cura. So, one on Ringabel. Yeah, one on everybody. It's expensive MP wise, but it's fine. You know what's totally going in my head right now? The song from Animal Crossing. Over here, everyone! Feast your eyes upon this! What's the matter? Oh... Oh my... What on earth is that? A ship, perhaps? But it's too big. And it's not moving. I'll wager the women there frolic around in bathing suits all day long. In your dreams, Ringabel. What are we waiting for? Let's lodge there tonight. Unacceptable. We've no time for distractions. We must awaken the fire crystal. I am the one at the helm here, no? I'll make the call. Thank you very much. <laughs> I can't take Rainbow seriously while he's wearing that mask. Oh god. <laughs> this thing is enormous! How many eschlots do you think would fit in there? Is that a ship? An island? Have we chance upon the forbidden sanctuary of the Bikini Tribe? Oh god, please, I hope so. Here's hoping they're cannibals with a taste for a philanderer. That is a disgusting idea. From its look, it has to be a ship. Some luxury cruise liner, perhaps? A luxury what? Crew who? What are you talking about, idea? It's like a super duper huge boat with every extravagance imaginable. Every cabin? A king's bedchamber, every meal a five-star feast, you name it, they have the board. Whoa, such a thing really exists? And here I've never seen anything bigger than a cri than a crabbing ship. Tis, please, you're getting bumpkin all over my my feral bikini women fantasy. <laughs> oh, ring a bell. Okay, where am I? What is this? Okay, so we can go in here, alright, alright. Or should I say this town looks like a ship? I'm confused. I can feel us rocking. It's floating all right. <gasps> Where are all the scantily clad girls? Oh, what a letdown. Well, well, here's some faces I haven't seen before. New to the ship? Then the seas must have cleared up everywhere and not just here. Excellent news. Say, have any of you seen a lad by the name of Zatz? He's hurt and supposed to be staying off his feet, but he wandered off. If you see him, can you bring him back to the tavern? He's a scrawny, fidgety little fella, so you can't miss him. Thanks in advance. Well, it looks like we've been volunteered to do things. Okay, can we save somewhere here? I don't think so. You could search the world and never find another city on the sea like this. 
I would imagine that is indeed the case. I've never seen anything like this in my whole life. And I guess we're going this way. At this rate, the shield bears will lose the war. We need your help. Anything will do. Resources, manpower. Please aid us. I've traveled far to make this plea. Uh. Guess I'm, I, I guess it must be this guy right here. What are we gonna do? You wouldn't happen to be Zats, would you? Yeah, who's asking? The tavern proprietress wanted us to find you. Let's go. Uh, all right then, I'm coming. Uh, what a mess. Is this just me or is, does he remind me of a mouse or something? Also, I see shops. I see shops, I see shopping, and I have money. But you have nothing I want. Way to take my hopes and dreams and smash them into pieces. Why would you do this to me? Please have something new. They have new things. This is promising. This is very promising. Arlene Bow. That's new. Interesting. Okay, I will take uh, I'll take a rod of ice. I'll take an iron pole. Take a bow. Take an axe. I'll take whatever this thing is called. And what else we got here? Viking coat. Very nice. And some Hermes sandals, artisan gloves, and earthing rod. What do these do? Immune to paralysis. Dexterity by 10. Agility by 10. Uh, I'll maybe pick these up later. But we'll definitely pick up some Viking coats. I think two is fine. And we'll get that bow right on to bring about ASAP. So that's equipment and equipment. There we go. And I think it's recommended. Viking coat and you wear a coat as well. There we go. Do whatever you can to get our defensive stats up. You'll find every manner of shop you could hope to hope for in the merchant's quarter, except for a magic shop that sells the magic I want. Hello, save man. And this is the item shop, I believe. Let's see, high potion, phoenix down. Yeah, there's nothing new. That's oh, that's disappointing. I want the, I want the good ethers. All right. So in the next episode, I guess we'll go explore the rest of the ship. Zaz seems a little bit worried. Something about shield bearers. I am intrigued. I am all the intrigued. So until next time, thank you guys so very much for watching this. I hope you're having a fantastic day.